today we are going to see how we can improve our headline. And I'm just going to give you seven, maybe six, maybe six tips on how to improve your headline. The first one is breathe. The headline is, re is related to your breathing from your first breath this is your birth to your last breath, which is your death. So the deeper you breathe, the more peaceful your breath can be, the better your headline is going to be. So this was the first tip. Second tip, quiet your mind. As you know, the headline is all about uh, mind. So if your mind is all over the place, you are likely not going to have a good, smooth headline. So if you want to improve the quality of your headline, I recommend things such as meditation, uh, relaxation, yoga, tai chi, basically anything that forces you to be in the present moment. So a time where you can just be quiet and you can breathe and then it will be easier to deal with life. This was number two. Number three, and this one I've already covered it in a, a previous video, let go of past hurts. And actually this is what the, my video was about. Please check the link below. Uh, below this video. So anything in the past that still makes you feel angry or insecure or sad nowadays, like each time you have a memory and you say, oh, this doesn't feel good. This is what you need to let go of. And again, watch my video on that. It will definitely help your headline. Now, Next tip, set and achieve your goals. So, as you, as you know, if you have seen my previous video on the headline, when the, the headline stops, it means that you stop before you have achieved your goals and you need to actually reach your goals. So, set your goals, achieve them, even if they are difficult, and I, I uh, strongly suggest a book by uh, uh, Susan Jeffers from a few years ago, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. This is all about dealing with your fear so that you can achieve anything that you want to. Now, my next tip is don't be a slave of your environment. A lot of the time when the line stops in the middle of the hand, in Rahu, is because we listen too much to what other people say that we should do or we shouldn't do. So we should be really convinced inside that what we are doing is the right thing. And this way the line will be much longer if it has a tendency to stop in the middle of the hand. And finally, the last tip is, I call it the Namaste. So Namaste is a common Indian greeting that means the sacred me recognizes the sacred you. Or the sacred in me recognizes the sacred in you. And what you need to do without listening to everything that people have to say about how you should live your li uh, you should lead your life, Take others into account and be aware of their needs. One of the things we have to realize is we are all connected. So when we help others, instead of saying, oh no, I am on my own, leave me alone. When we help others, we actually help ourselves. And this really allows us to be more flexible, more accepting, and to have a much better headline. So try those tips and see 
how your headline reacts to it, whether first your mind is happier. Um, the mind, the, which is the headline, is very much connected to the heart line, the heart. So the heart and the mind work together. So when your mind starts to be more relaxed, more flexible, then the heart is happier. The two work together and you have a much happier life.